I'm Tracy Baxter with today's edition of Record News Watch. It was an incident that involved a stolen car, a police chase, and a shooting. It began last night when a stolen car report came into a town of Marlboro Police Headquarters. A town of Newburgh police officers spotted the car and chased it across the Newburgh Beacon Bridge. Once across, the driver, a 17-year-old girl, reportedly tried to hit officers with her vehicle. That's when a town of Newburgh police officer opened fire, wounding the girl, who was being treated for non-life-threatening injuries at St. Francis Hospital in Poughkeepsie. Keep checking back here at Record Online for more on this developing story. The well, local volunteers continue to be kept busy with fire calls. And this morning, a fire of undetermined origin destroyed a three-story home at number 269 McManus Road in New Hampton. Residents in the house got out safely. Uh, New Hampton Fire Chief Joe Alfonso says it's always a challenge to get manpower to the scene when volunteers are at work. Uh, units are coming from a long distance away. It is a uh, working day, so people are working. So manpower is an issue. Investigators were checking out a report that the fire began on the porch and spread from there. Well, last evening, a village of Chester police officer had to be treated for smoke inhalation after rescuing a cat from an apartment that was on fire on Chester Heights Drive. Firefighters were able to quickly contain the flames. It was, it was pretty intense. It was probably right ready to really light up the whole place. It was in the living room, but our first crew in was able to make a quick knockdown and, and save us. No one was in the apartment at the time the fire broke out. Uh, the cause of this fire also under investigation. The end is coming soon for local blockbuster stores. Movie rental stores in Middletown, Kingston, New Windsor, New Paltz, Newburgh, and Saugerties will be closing by the end of the month and begin liquidation of in-store merchandise. Blockbuster filed for bankruptcy last September. Uh, the company has suffered financially from competition from Netflix and other available rental options. A Monroe man has pleaded guilty to grand larceny charges in connection with a home improvement scam that victimized at least two homeowners in Orange County. 64-year-old Joseph Fienga admitted to being uh, paid thousands of dollars for home repair work that was never done. The Orange County District Attorney's Office will recommend that Fienga be sentenced to jail time and be required to pay about $8,000 in restitution to both victims. Fienga faces similar scam charges in Ulster and Westchester counties. And it was a morning of show and tell for local business reps at Orange Ulster BOCES in Goshen as high school students, including those in the culinary program, uh, displayed the skills they are learning uh, through CTEC, the BOCES Career and Technical Education Center. CTEC provides 37 different career and technical programs. Studies show that the teens with career-focused training have a leg up when it comes to landing a good job. It is a core concern that all employers have that as we interview applicants that they are coming in well prepared both in the skills and in the work ethics and Orange Ulster BOCES program certainly fills both of those demands. You learn teamwork, how to work with others just like you would in the workforce. You learn how to be creative and you learn a lot about yourself too. CTEC students are also able to integrate academics into the technical curriculum so they can meet high school graduation requirements requirements. It'll feel a little like spring in the next couple of days. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy, but temperatures will reach the upper 40s and low 50s in some parts of our region. Friday will feature a mix of sun and clouds, with the highs climbing into the mid 50s. Stay on top of breaking news here at Record Online, and you'll get a complete wrap-up of all the day's developments by picking up a copy of tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.